It is almost 6.40. (laughs) This is crazy. I was supposed to be at the gym at 6. But anyway, it is um, Saturday morning. This is, I don't even know what day this is. What's the date? Is it the 7th? It can't be. Or is it the 6th? All right. It is the 7th. So I have literally worked out for seven days in a row. There was one day where I didn't actually go to the gym, but I did something here. So kudos to me. What was this morning wanting grits? Like a hot bowl of grits. I don't even know why, but I wanted it. Yesterday I made nachos. I wanted junk yesterday. I just hadn't really eaten all week. Like a full meal of anything with, you know, taking care of Christopher and everything. He wasn't feeling well. We think he ate something. Kind of find out. Uh, plus, um, yeah, I don't know. Something was going on with his stomach, but he's so much better now. So that's a good thing. Plus, he just needed to like, be cleansed out anyway, but he's feeling so much better. And I was able to sleep last night. Y'all. So anyway, I'm making a juice real quick. I'm not eating grits <laughs> before I go to the gym, even though I want some. But like I said, I made nachos yesterday. I feel like I just wanted something like salty and spicy and just whatever. So I did the... Um, what do you call it? The So I did the carrots, potato, and onion mixture where you boil them all real, until they're soft with the garlic. And then you just blend it and add the water as it um, blends to make it to the consistency that you want when you're making your vegan or plant-based cheese. And then you add salt, like a sea salt or whatever, pink salt, whatever you want to salt it up. And a... A lot of nutritional yeast. I think I ended up doing about a cup and a half or some almost two cups. I made a lot because I was thinking about making like this, like a one pot casserole type of dish today. So I figured, you know, let me just make enough. And plus the girls had some yesterday because Christopher sure didn't want nachos. He just wanted like a light pasta. So that's what he had before he left yesterday. So anyway, that's what I had yesterday. My nachos were so good. <laughs> I told you all, I told you all, you know, I keep it real over here that there is one thing I like to eat every once in a while that's junk and it's not shows. I love it. But I just put a bunch of um, good stuff on top, like peppers and onions and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I am up and I have on um, joggers today because it's kind of cool out there this morning. I think the high is 77, so I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm going to get in my garden today or not, but I really need to get into the yard. I don't know what I'm going to do. I did order some bedding for those who um, said, just get gray bedding or something like that. So I went online and ordered some. It came in this little bitty box. I don't even know what it looks like. Crazy, right? Crazy. So I'll probably stop at the Asian market on the way in. To grab a few things, I might stop at the Indian grocery. I really want some of this. Um, I, I don't know what it's called, chutney, chutney. I really want some of that. It's so spicy and good. I need to look and see how much sodium is in that stuff. But that chutney, I'm gonna make sure these are clean. Um, I like adding it when I cook, but I definitely need some ginger. You know what, I could pack me some nuts to go to the gym along with my juice. I'm making quite a bit of juice, just so you know, and it's not just for right now. I'm going to make some to drink on the way, and then when I get home and fix myself something to eat, I'll at least have something to drink on, some juice, and I won't be grabbing for junk. All right, so I have two apples, I got a bag of pear, a bag of um, grapes, even though I know someone's been in those grapes, so it's not a whole uh, bag. Um, a lot of ginger, <laughs> a lot. The season's changing. And when the season change, we go through ginger like crazy. And so I need to make some more shots. All those shots are gone. Christopher was taking them shots up and right, baby. He was like, I need my stomach back on point. You know, it's been ginger help with digestion, you know, any type of like queasiness and all that. So I just let him take them. But I could really use one this morning. So anyway, I hope you all are doing amazing. I found uh, some stuff to watch on Netflix yesterday. Crazy, y'all. 
the love is blind so i'm not big on reality shows we already know this i don't i don't do drama and i, I don't like all that mess but y'all so how do you feel about like literally talking to someone you're in one room they're in another room and you could talk about whatever and anything except for like describing your phys your physical features right so everything you discuss like your business your personality the things you like don't like your sexuality everything right um kids ex-husbands boyfriends like just life except for your like physical attributes right I was like, wow, this is this is like day one and you're already like, oh my God, I really like him. Like, how is that? How is that? How is that? Now, I have made connections with people with talking to people, um, like dating online or whatever, or connections like where you felt comfortable with someone, I should say. And to the point where, you know, you'll chit chat on the phone a little while or whatever. But um, I don't know, girl, I'm about to be 50. And I do understand that in this day and age, everything is so superficial with the editing and all these apps of like touching up like faces and adding makeup and adding lipstick, taking away wrinkles and all this work that people are putting in that they're paying for and not actually putting in the gym or whatever. Um, yeah, nobody. There's a lot of like people who aren't real people. Like, you know, everything is like made up or quickly fixed. Right. So people don't know what they're getting themselves into. I even saw an article one time where a guy was pissed about his appearance of his children, um, not knowing that his wife had all this work done in her in her past to create a whole new facial features and everything. It was crazy. But um, so I don't know how I feel about that. And I said I was going to watch it and just for like, you know, kicks and giggles and then I'm on episode two, I think. Oh, what am I on? Am I on episode two? I don't know, but um, <clears throat> it's interesting to see these people. They're all in the same house. All the women's in this one house, men in this one, in this house, and they're discussing like the people that they're interested in, they like, and then some people are interested in like the same people, and so then you're chit chatting. It's almost like college. You're chit chatting about someone that you are feeling with a female you don't even know. Girl, women would run their mouth, right? <clears throat> anyway, so it was interesting to see that. Now, I do understand that in cultures, uh, it still exists of arranged marriages. Um, people basically choosing their children's mate for them, whether it's business-wise, like, you know what I mean? To keep, like, these upper, <laughs> you know, y'all know what I mean. There, there's the partnerships because they're not really like love based. There are partnerships and they just, it works for them. Um, but mainly arranged marriages, all that still exists. So it's not like, and they don't, and it's sight unseen, right? And then until they marry this person and then they are to grow in love. Like love is not first. It's about um, stability and money and power and all that, right? And keeping their tradition, all that kind of stuff. So, I know these things exist. It's just weird to see them over here because I just think they make a joke out of it. I don't think they, a lot of them don't take it seriously. And yeah, I, I, I just take union seriously. And it's like a big joke. <laughs> Let's get this in here because I'm not gonna be able to pour it from here. I don't believe. Oh, this looks so good. It smells so good. I saw those grapes. Those grapes in Paris make a lot of juice, y'all. So let me make myself a drink and then jar up a few of these. These jars I get from Amazon. They're always linked down below. So you can always go um, on my Amazon storefront. I always have a link if you want these. They do have the ones with the lid with the hole. So you can just put a straw in. And that's what I'm about to fill up one right now. So we could take it with us on the way to the gym. Mm, I've been down, didn't even have to ache. That's a good thing, because I've been sore for the last couple of days. I was so sore that first couple of days. I was like, I don't want to go back to the gym. Oh, I need to put some ice in here. All right, let me see. Let me put the rest of this. It's quite a bit for just what I just did, right? Quite a bit, so 
I'm gonna put the rest in a little jar so when I get back, I have something to sip and snack on while we fix us some food. So today might be a day of eating along with a little bit of house update stuff, okay? Not this top. So they have the black tops, the white tops, and then the one with the hole. So let me grab some ice, throw this in the sink just to rinse it off because I'm not worried about washing it because we're gonna make more juice today. So basically with the Love is, Bl Love is Blind show, everybody looks good on the show to me. There's no like, yeah, everybody looks beautiful or handsome in their own way, right? So it's not like they are, they have like oddly or strangely looking people on the show. So um, yeah, the crazy thing for me is that it's not meeting someone and not being able to see them. Well, that's kind of strange too, but I mean, it is what it is. You can get a connection with someone just by talking to them and, you know, becoming familiar with them and sharing. You, you tend to share a lot more when you're not in someone's presence. When you're on the phone, you're comfortable and they're in com they're comfortable. They're in seating with couches and mood lighting and they're able to play games with each other and card games and ask, you know, very intimate questions. They are actually able to get really deep down into like questions you wouldn't normally ask on a date. You know, like like one lady said fetishes. One lady was like, you know, about, you know, finances and, you know, about have do you want kids? Like there's certain questions you would not ask like on a first date, right? So they're able to like dig deeper with these type of questions. The thing for me is like four or five days later, you can agree to be engaged. What? And then you go off together. When you meet each other for the first time, you're actually engaged. And then from there, you set a wedding date. <laughs> like once you get together and then, yeah. So the couple from last year is still married. I think that um, from my understanding that got engaged or whatever. So, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. All right, so this is drink one, number one. We're going to practice another drink later when we get back from the gym. Let me go ahead and put this pop up into the compost bin because it has, um, what is that beeping? Um, must be the um, ice maker. It has too much ginger in here for me to put in quest dog food. So I'm just going to do this. I have my water and let's head out before we go. Have you, have you watched the TV show? What do you think about that? Do you even think about it? Has it ever even crossed your mind, right? Maybe when we were younger and we didn't have social media and you can meet someone through someone and talk on the phone like you did back in the day, like um, middle school, that kind of thing. But now with social media and having social media and having access to so much, people meet people. Like even when I dated online, I would meet people and go look them up. And in Colorado, do you know such and such? Have you? Do you know who this person is? That type of thing. We'll investigate now, right? And then with. Um, Social media, uh, most people have either Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook, or LinkedIn or something. You can go and do the research and find them. So it's a little different now, but I don't know. What do you think about that? And what do you think about online dating? It's crazy, seven nine cents a pound. You know how many, how much I grew this summer. But I chopped them all up, and I wanted to make like fried, like um, vegan fish. I don't want to pay for it though. That's so crazy. Cause I wonder how much I have in the freezer. But maybe I can figure out something else to do with that. Y'all, this is my spot right here. This, this my store. This, this, this my store. Like for real.
I'm going to eat some raw wraps today for like lunch when I get home. All right, so I no longer want uh, grits. <laughs> I want some salt and spicy though, so I'm probably just going to um, have some um, raw wraps for right now. Y'all, this is my spot. This is my spot. 99 cent ranch. I could just be in here for hours and just reading everything. Uh oh, hold on. Car karaoke over here. I could just be in heaven here and just. Y'all have no idea. I go down the aisles. I look at everything. I'm reading everything. I want to make a soup between today and tomorrow. So I got some of these. Womp womp. And these are her, uh, rice crackers. I just want to try They don't have a lot of calories like all the other stuff. So I don't know. I'm going to try them. And of course, you know, I had to come get their ginger. Then I had to walk down all the aisles because I wanted to see what they had in the tea aisle. That's the rest of my juice. The tea um, used to be so lit. They would have all these bags. They were like clear bags, but like, um, you don't know what they are. But there's a bunch of like sticks and, and leaves and flowers and stuff. And I would always have to try to open the translator, right? To type in what it was so I can see what it is. Like whether it was jasmine or oolong or um, burdock or whatever. They would have all of that for like nothing. So they don't care anymore. I, I don't know if it was a local farmer who had it or local like herbal, like whatever who had it. They don't have it here anymore. So, but they still had the stuff I wanted. Like the, the packs with the turmeric and the ginger. They still had that. And then they had this other brand I hadn't seen before. So I didn't buy it though because I hadn't seen it. And so I just figured I'll just get everything else I kind of wanted to try. I normally like to get like some fun snacks for the kids so they can just try something. We used to get a box back in the day. If you've been around a while, then you know. And it was a box of like snacks from around the world. Well, my kids like Asian snacks. I don't know what it is, but if you notice, we're not big American food eaters <laughs> besides salad. We like Asian stir fries, Asian um, like fried rice, lo mein, like all things like spicy we, and Mexican food. Like, yeah, we not steak, potatoes and baked chicken type of family. We like, I don't know, the different culture foods, all the spices and Indian food. Oh my God, Indian food. Don't even get started on that. Like, I was sitting here in the gym thinking like, what am I going to cook today? What am I going to cook tomorrow? And I was like, oh, we can do lentils, sweet potatoes, some greens, and some mushrooms. I was thinking about all that stuff. Then I was like, we can do a quick stir fry. Mm. But everything I'm thinking about is spicy. So right now the temperature is 72. Y'all, when they get in the 70s, I just be, I, I just want to get in the kitchen 24-7. I want to cook in the kitchen all day when it's in the 70s. Like, I'm so excited that the temperature is not 99, 110. I just want to cook. I just feel like cooking. When we get home, we're going to have some wraps. And then we'll figure out something later. But I'm about to uh, turn this car karaoke back home real quick. And we're about to go into um, uh, TJ Maxx. a picture perfect it would be us i could be across the world and i would still have your trust don't even got a question if i'm the one giving up but you keep saying you've had enough so tell me where to go cause i have nowhere to hide i just want you by my Keeping my 
myself busy trying to find something to do But every time I try somehow it brings me back to you So what do I do? I don't know, I don't know, no, no See, I used to call you probably ten times a day But now we on the phone, but we got nothing to say And every time I hear our song, it don't sound the same I don't know if I could do another day So tell me I just want you by my side But do I still have your heart? Do I still crush your mind? Have we grown apart? Should we even try? I still keep your picture frame on the side of my bed Acting like I'm good but I can no longer pretend Busy trying to find something to do But every time I try somehow it brings me back to you I know things happen for a reason But I'm tired of this pain I feel And I don't know if I'm strong enough for these changes Hey, hey! Back from the gym, I'm about to roll up my sleeves I just washed my hands, I'm about to make some rice wraps probably like two wraps every time i make like three or four wraps i never can eat them all i feel like i'm hungry but i just ate some edamame and a car those little um bean snacks or whatever and yeah so let's just make some wraps real quick i got my ra rice wraps right here i just get some hot water in my bowl i'm gonna go to the garden tower pull a few I don't know, maybe some lettuce and stuff. Do I want lettuce in my bag? I don't know what I want. I'm just gonna pull some lettuce out the things and be pulled anyway. Plus I need to, I'm waiting on my sprouts to um, get a little bit fuller over here for my lettuce so I can go ahead. Girl, look how big this calendula is. Y'all see that? <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, uh, my calendula is doing so good. I'm excited because if you don't know, I've had hell growing calendula like basically so yeah and look at my apple man everything looks so good i'm just so happy so i'm gonna go over here to my tower and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and start picking some lettuce because i gotta pick lettuce this, today anyway um someone asked me do i buy organic fruits and vegetables no uh sometimes i do if it's on sale no i mean at this point they're spraying that appeal stuff on um, about everything so i don't still don't know how it's organic but i do have two organic beds outside i have three organic towers that has the organic soil and the plants in it and i have my towers which i'm growing organically and my other hydroponics so hope that answers your question honey so yeah some of this lettuce don't look that good some of this does just need to go but look at this lettuce this is so cool this like right this what is that i still don't know what that is it doesn't taste that great either but um it is what it is i'm gonna eat it because i know it's good for me whatever it, it, it is but this is my so far this is like my favorite it's like butter lettuce it's like really soft i love it i don't even want to oh it smells good mm. anyway so i'm gonna pick some lettuce off this tower we're gonna make us some lunch mm. Some lunch over quick. Hold on, let me just see what I'm picking at. I think I'm gonna put some green onions in here. These are really chives, but y'all know. Put some chives in my wraps for a little extra shoink shoink. Look at this, they're already flowering my basil, but uh, the weather is about to change. And yeah, I like this big leaf too. I love this lettuce and I picked off a bunch of this already I need to stop I need to pull this one because it's about to go dead on me this um mint is actually climbing on the trellis right now and put the other mint that I'm growing from the other tower in here that's what I need to do I want to eat these peppers y'all but 
I think they're supposed to turn colors. I need to cut the roots. I think they're supposed to turn colors. Um, should I should I pick one and see? Let's pick one and see. Oh my god, it's gonna be so hot. Anyway, let's just try. So I need to trim these roots today and cut the plant. Oh my god, I need to cut this thing back so bad. The um all these dirty leaves, old leaves, and I need to clean the machine. So I'm gonna do that today. I gotta find some shoes for Penny for homecoming dance. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so far, everything looks really good down here. I mean, it looks good. The towel looks good. I bet that water is dirty, y'all. I bet it's dirty. Whatever. Look at all this lettuce. I don't want that, though. I don't want that lettuce. Nope. I want to see what this pepper tastes like. And I want to put all this either in my wrap or on the side of my wrap. So, let's wash this. And... What else I want to do? Oh, let's get all the fruits and vegetables out of the fridge. All right, so we're going to get the fruits and vegetables. Let's get y'all down here so y'all can see me chop up my food. Mm-hmm. Look at this pepper. It smells spicy. So I'm going to chop my veggies first. The other veggies are in the water. And then what we're going to do is... Um, start assembling our wraps. So this is basically my first meal of the day, to be honest. I don't know why they put this in there. We have a container for that. This is basically my first meal of the day. I really want those, um, is it secure? I forget what they call those knives. I really want those Chinese, um, I think they're Japanese knives, actually. I pretty want some of those. So we're gonna put that in the atmosphere, y'all. I want those. Maybe I'll find some at like Home Goods this weekend. But I want at least one. They're kind of expensive. They're well worth it though. And I want the ones that had like the little ridges on it or whatever. Oh yes. I need that in my life. I need that in my life. So we're just going to make enough for two. If we have some like of this veggie stuff left over. We'll just eat it on the side. No big deal. So I'm doing the red onions. No girl. Purple onions. Or what's it called? Red onions. And this is red pepper. I'm going to do a little bit of this carrot. People always ask me what this knife is called. It's J.H. No, J.A. Hempels. That's what these knives are. And I always find these at home goods. They're, they're pretty good. They can be kind of expensive here and there. You can find them at Costco too sometime. But um, yeah, I love them because they slice really good. And they also slice my tomatoes. So if you can slice my tomatoes, then you're on point with me. So this is the old cucumber. Yeah, it's definitely an old cucumber, but we don't throw away food here, honey. So whatever's left over, we are going to juice. Yeah, it's got to be bad for me to throw away food. Between Quest and me juicing or throwing something in the smoothies or throwing something like soup or something or, you know, whatever, we don't really throw away food. If anything, it'll go in a compost if we can't eat it. You know what I'm saying? I'm really funny about throwing away food. So, anyway, when you're making these wraps like this, it's best just to slice everything extremely thin. Like, basically like this. All right, so that's everything so far. And let me get the other veggies. So, um, I didn't grab them all. I'm not in the mood for salad. But I am in the mood for, like, some spicy wraps. These smell so good. But anyway, they look like banana peppers. That's what they look like. <laughs> Yeah, these, these are these are a little spicy. Oh well. So I think they're supposed to turn color. I don't think this one's quite ready. But I'm I'm a little daring. So I'm just gonna take the seeds out and I'm gonna taste it anyway. They juicy. Hold on. <sighs> So, yeah. <laughs> this is juicy yet spicy. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. So, we're going to put them in here anyway. They're not ready. They're not ready. Like, you can tell when the pepper's ready or whatever. It's not ready. It needs to be on a little bit longer, but I'm just going to throw it in there. It reminds me when I first bite into it like banana pepper. 
then there's something like a hint of something like you could definitely taste like the hint of peach or something and then they kick come through and your tongue go numb my tongue was about to be numb yeah that's about happened uh, so i got my hot water and from a reverse osmosis machine i know you hear it girl why i thought i had some glaze you know that glaze i showed y'all in the asian market why well, i thought i had some and i don't i don't i'm like oh my god i just saw it in the store like i could have just bought it but oh my goodness anyway so i don't have any so anyway i'm using hot water and yeah I love to see them make these at H-E-B and all the little grocery stores or whatever. All right, so I just chopped up the little veggies that was left. Here's my little bowl of spice. Both wraps. I'll see y'all at the table. I don't think I forgot what we were talking about earlier. So this is for my single folks. Have you ever dated online? What was your experience? Was it a, you know, just rate it. One out of ten. Rate it for me, friend. I want to know. I went ahead and chopped up some of that lettuce. Why not? And here's my wraps. God, this stuff smells so spicy and good. Let me know what your experience is. I've met so many people. Okay, so I'm so really friendly. And I like talking to people and meeting new people anyway. So, um, when people, guys tend to be intimidated. Mm, okay, whatever. I still don't get that part. But my brother-in-law tried to explain to me like, yeah, you know, you come off like having your shit together and knowing what you want. And sometimes men are intimidated been wondering if they can fulfill like fill those shoes right and i have like some deal breakers right <laughs> like mm, mm. you know even though i'm i'm non-judgmental and i love giving people like chances and because i know we have chances and choices and sometimes we um make bad decisions and we learn from them and then some people don't so, you know, I'm open for a lot of that, right? So, I'm very, um, I'm easy to talk to. And so, I end up being, no lie, friends with everybody. Everybody. Mm-hmm. Like, real friends. Mm hmm There's people I've gone out with that I talk to all the time. And, like, we're family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to eat this, eat my little salad that I have here, and then I'm going to go and um, cut the yard. I did order another bedding for my bed, and I'll share that with you all. It came in the smallest box ever. So if you've ever dated online, uh, let me know what you think about um, it now, that times have really changed. And would you try like Facebook dating? I was thinking about trying it. I know so many people though. That's what's hard for me. Every time I go on there, like any dating app and I sign up, everybody I know sends me a message and tells me, get off of this thing. All the guys, <laughs> get off this thing. It's crazy. It never fails. I know someone on there. Now they send me, get off this app. Mm -hmm. But they be on it. I'm about to eat this. Like raw food is so good, y'all. Don't get me wrong. That that red, spicy, whatever with the nuts and stuff from the Asian worker, I know is probably like a uh, straight up no. Um, but it's cut. And I'm going to be full. And um, I'm going to put myself up to go outside and cut the jar. Maybe I'll make myself a shot of black coffee. Because I've had juice. I've had that whole 40 ounces back there of water. So maybe, just maybe, I'll make me a shot of coffee in that pretty silver machine. Or I'll put like an espresso and make some coffee. And um, get a little, should I make going? Mm. I don't know. I just be so satisfied eating these. I ain't put a mic on. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to try to remind myself to, to use the mic. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I didn't find too much at TJ Maxx. No, no tights or nothing. I ended up being on the phone with Garrick anyway. Because the company sent me this message. And asked me. Would I review 
I get so much stuff to me. Let me show you one thing that was said to me just randomly today. And this is not like the weirdest. It's not even really weird, but this is not like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. This right here. They want me to review this bike. It's like a trike or whatever. A cargo trike. I don't know. I mean, like if I lived in a city and I live close to like where you can bike into an area where there's a market and all that, I could see that, right? I could see if you have kids, like little people. Um, I don't have none of that. Mm. So I can't do that. I don't even know who would watch that. And I don't know where to store that. I already have ride the electric bike I have now. And I love that electric bike. Let me tell you. Yeah, I love that bike. It is so freaking cool. But it's heavy. And it's big. And um, the weather's been so crazy. But like the weather like this, this is when I'm riding that bike. Yeah, I just said I'm getting on the bike in the morning instead of going to the gym tomorrow. Mmm. I'll be back. Okay, Google. Pause the music. Okay, so the company I purchased this bedding from... I went with gray instead of black. I went through all the comments that I could and just kind of, yeah. I was like, okay, all right. So I bought something from Bed Sure. It's off of Amazon. It's what the picture look like. <laughs> and this is what the package look like. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is gonna like blow up. Even if it, yeah, I don't like it. Maybe I have to. I can't put it back in the box, so. Um. Yeah, hopefully I like it. If not, I'm going somebody else's bed. I guess. Everything is vacuum packed now, right? Yeah, so I'm just going to, if I do like it, spray it with some sanitizer and then um, throw it in the dryer. It's gray. Um... It's not as dark as I wanted it. I wanted that, like that charcoal. Okay, see, I think I want the one that's on West Down. Okay, <laughs> but it's expensive. So, I mean, it feels soft. Actually, it really feels like really soft. It's cheap too, y'all. It's cheap. So I wasn't expecting much from it. It's a king, right? What? I think it's a king. Um. I prefer to buy California King while I buy blankets like this, but okay, so I'm gonna throw it in the dryer with a sanitizer spray real quick while I take a shower and throw some clothes on. What time is it? Um, shoot. I just cut the front yard and my battery went dead. So oh wow, it's just 12. Um, it's not even one o'clock. I got a lot done. I cut the front yard, but it needs um my battery went dead. This is the gray. Anyway. Whatever, child. It's just, it's just for the end of the bed. That's all it's for. And this is the covers. It has like this little pleating action. So let me spray them. Throw them in the dryer. And take a shower. And I'll be back. Alright, so. Here we go. So this side. This done. I'm done. Okay, so let me tell you what I have left to do. A big rug. I'm talking about huge. So we can get rid of the orange floors, of course. And yeah, that's what everything looks like right now. That big picture I want right there, I know where it is. It just comes in and out of stock. This is what the gray looks like on the bedding. I wish it was that charcoal gray, but it's okay. Okay, y'all. So I think I'm going to order the West Elm bedding. Not today, not tomorrow, but yeah, I think I'm going to order it. It's okay. It's not blue. It's gray. So it kind of flows in with everything, right? And then the chair. Let me worry about the chair right now. So I'm going to leave it just like this. Y'all, this is, <laughs> this is so soft. Look at this. Like really soft. It's probably not going to last forever. It's not one of the things you can just wash over and over and over, but 
if I just leave it like decor wise or whatever, it's cool. And then I just have my blanket on top, my little accent blanket I like to put on there. And this is what it looks like now. So let me get these. I put it in the dryer so it can get those wrinkles out from when it first came out that box. But um, let me see if I can show you. Yeah. So that's it. I am sweating. Let me show y'all something. This was so crazy. All right. So I went to the gym. I did the treadmill for 40 minutes on incline at um, 3.8. I just could not do 4 point nothing today. I, it's no way. It was like my body hurts. Then after I did that, I did legs. So I'm not going to be able to feel my legs tomorrow. Just so you know. I did legs. I did um, like the leg lifts, the leg curls. Right. After I did that, I'm trying to cool off. I went to TJ Maxx, went to 99 Cent Ranch, came home. Hey, which I'll cut the front yard. It's not always cut the sides. It needs to be cut some, right? Then I danced a little bit to keep my heart rate up because I wanted to see what my watch was going to say. See, my wrist is just so small now. I need to get this length changed. So I've been trying to get 15,000 steps, and I, I, I can't. I, I can, but not right now because see, it says I've only burned 400 calories, right, um, since I've been up. And it's saying I only have like 38, 3,900 steps. Yeah, well, that's because it's too big. It don't even fit on me. So it's not even registering. So I need to get the links fixed or another like a workout watch. So that's what we're aiming for uh, before the end of the week. There was a picture perfect, it would be us I could be across the world and I would still have your trust Don't even got a question if I'm the one giving up But you keep saying you've had enough So tell me where to go, cause I have nowhere to hide I just want you by me I'm strong enough for these changes 